Shepherd of a soul, Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's side. We will never give up. We We give you all the praise, we give you all the honor. Father, we thank you, Lord, again for making it possible for us to gather again by your feet again to hear that word of life, that word of transformation, that word that will strengthen us and keep us fit and strong to the end. Father, Lord God Almighty, I pray as many of us, Lord, that will hear your word this hour. Father, let our body, soul, and spirit be renewed and revived to the glory of your name alone and to the shame of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, Lord God Almighty, you know how we are. That is why you have made it important for us oh lord to hear your word daily according to your word in the book of hebrew chapter 3 verse 13 he said exhort one another daily why it is called today lest your heart be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin father i pray as many of us oh lord that you are brought to the cave of adolam none of our hearts shall be hardened through sin in the mighty name of jesus christ Amen. Amen. father lord god almighty as i speak your word again this morning grant me the utterances to speak for the era to be blessed and for I that you are using to be blessed, and you alone will take the glory in Jesus' mighty name. I pray to thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Brother, once again, I welcome every one of us before the presence of the Almighty God. We thank God again for making it possible for us to gather again before His presence this morning. Uh, Hebrews chapter 3, verse 12. The Bible makes us to understand there, Hebrews chapter 3, I take it from verse 12 to uh, 14. It said, Take heed, brethren, lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. 13. But exhort one another daily why it is called today. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of, deceitfulness of sin. 14. For we are made partaker of Christ. If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end, praise Master Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. yeah. So, brethren, that is why it's very, very good for us to encourage ourselves in the Lord by looking into the Word of God every day as uh, to renew us, to purge us, to to revive our spirit man. Because if you listen to the parable of the sower, the problem was not with the sower, neither it was with the seed. It was with the environment that the seed fell upon. Many received the word with joy, but along the road, they missed it, and they drifted away, and they fall back again to the world. And I pray that will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Without any further ado, this morning we'll be looking at a, uh, a brief exhortation titled, Living in the peace of Christ in this wicked world, living in the peace of Christ in this in this wicked world. Brethren, a lot of people say they have peace, but on what ground is your peace based on? Any peace you have that is not based on Christ is a peace that will soon end up in disaster. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Brethren, with what is happening in the world today, we can see 
how the heart of men have begun to fail them. How what the word of God that was written more than 2,000 years ago is gradually coming to fulfillment. But thank God for the Lord Jesus Christ who has given us an escape route. According to the book of John chapter 16 verse 33, he said, These things are spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulations, but be of good tears. I have overcome the world. Jesus Christ has overcome the world. He has defeated the world, and he has defeated Satan, and he has given us that liberty to dwell on. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Uh, Brethren, yeah. if you turn your Bible again to the book of uh, Luke chapter 21, we know the scripture very well, Luke chapter 21, you can see what the Bible makes us to understand. Things that will be happening, that the heart of men will begin to fail them. But thank God for you and I that are in Christ, that we are not in darkness. The Bible makes us to understand that whatsoever thing that were written at for time, they were written for our learning, that through patience and comfort of the scripture, that we might have hope. When you see the word is hitting you hard, fall back to the word of God. Console yourself with the word of God. Renew yourself with the word of God. And stand firm in the word of God. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Living in the peace of Christ in this wicked and horrible world that we are living in. In Luke chapter 21 verse 8, he said, and he said, take heed, ye be not deceived, for many shall call in my name, saying, I am Christ, and the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. So we can see different things happening now. People conduct deliverance in the church through kissing. People conduct uh, people said they want to pray, they put telephone, they said they have the telephone God with their mobile phone, they are holding in their hand, and they say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, uh, yeah, he has a stomach pain, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. You can see the drama and the razzmatazz that is taking place in the body of Christ. But thank God, a Muslim brother was sending me something, I said, my brother, these things are not strange to me, because God have already told us all these things. He has already he has already armed us against the evil days. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He said, But when you shall hear of war and commotion, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Ten. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And great earthquakes shall be in the diverse places, and fam famines, and pestilence, and fearful sight, and great signs shall there be from heaven. 12. But, death, but before all this, they shall lay their hands on you, and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogue, and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And and he shall turn to you for a testimony. 14. Settle it therefore in your heart, not to meditate before what you shall answer. 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. 16. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and king's folks and friends, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. 17. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. 18. He said, but there shall not an hair of your head perish. 19. In your patience possess your soul. So you can see the, the, the comforting word that the Lord Jesus Christ has given to you and I more than 2,000 years ago. It's still very, very fresh. Everything is gradually coming to an end. Human being has become Carnivorous animal. They have become cannibals. They now they now prefer human meat more than the, the, the cow meat and the chicken meat we, we see we, we can buy in the market. Human beings have now decided to be sleeping with dogs. They now prefer dogs as a wife or as a husband than a normal human being. So, brethren, will your heart not fail you in this? But Thank God for the Lord Jesus Christ. He has given you and I that weapon 
that authority to stand on so that we will not drift away, so that we will not say, oh, I am tired of this, I cannot bear this anymore. Living in the peace of Christ in this horrible and terrible world that we are living in. Brethren, before I continue further in that same Luke chapter 21, when we talk about peace, what is peace? Peace is a state of tranquility, that quiet and harmony and absence of violence. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Mm. When we talk about peace, yeah. we are talking about that meta balance, that meta way of right taking and acting rightly and behaving rightly. Brethren, if you are a good reader of the Bible, you will discover that before Jesus Christ departed from this world, after he died and resurrected, his first encounter with the apostles was what? Peace, I live with you. And peace, I give you. Because he know that their heart will begin to fail them. Because if you remember, he told them before he was uh, arrested and crucified, he said, the time is at hand whereby they will smit the shepherd the the the, the 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 shepherd and all the all the flocks will run away and everything actually came to pass and even it got to the extent of which peter denied jesus christ because of what out of what fear so brethren in a state of fear or in a state of meta imbalance or in the in the state of uh, uh, a, a troubled heart you cannot even pray you will be babbling you will be your, your words that you will be saying will not be will not be coherent, will not be well articulated. But when you have a peace of mind, when you see people in a, in fidgety, looking dejected, hopeless, you that is having a peace of mind, you will know that yes, my God is able. No matter what comes out in this situation, it shall be to the glory of God. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Uh, no, no, no. Brethren, as a child of God, for us to be able to stand firm in this wicked world, we must possess that peace of Christ. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Uh, no, no, no. Quickly, let's turn our Bible to the book of John chapter uh, John chapter uh, 20. I take it from verse 19. Praise the Lord. Uh, John chapter 20. From verse 19, he said, And the first day at the evening, being the first day of the week, when the door were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, Peace be unto you. Because if they happen to see him in that state, some of them might even run away. Some of them might be troubled. So the first thing he brought before them is peace. Peace. In other words, we just saw the definition of the of that word peace. Be calm. Relax. It is me. All that I have said, all that I have come to this world to, to do for, for the world has been fulfilled and completed. So it's time for me to depart. So I am the one, I'm leaving you now in this horrible and terrible world. But for you to be able to do the work of God, you must possess what? The peace of what? Of Christ. And he said, peace be unto you. And when he has said, he showed unto them his hands. So you can see, he, because as at that time, he said, this is a ghost, this is the spirit. They would have all run away. And he said that word, peace be unto you. He showed them his hand, a confirmation of where he was being made on the cross. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Yeah. Then we are the disciples glad. So you can see, disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Praise Master Jesus Christ. <coughs> and if, if verse 21 again, then he said, then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you, as my father had sent me, even so sent I you. So you can see the clearer picture of what he was making them to understand there. Yeah. Because there is no way they can do the work of God if they, they are, if they are not if they if they are not mentally balanced, if they are depressed, if they are obsessed. 
with the death of Christ, with what Christ, what they saw, what they were doing to Christ. They will not be able to do the work of God. So the first thing you need to release to them is what? The peace of God. And we all saw the aftermath of it all. How they did exploit. You know, they were beaten and they were rejoicing that they also suffer persecution for Christ. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Uh, Brethren, I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what you are facing right now as you are hearing this word. Be strong. Allow the peace of Christ that passeth all human understanding to possess your heart. Brethren, the word of God is a is a is a is a is a place where you and I should always fall back to when we are facing a troubled life, when we are facing uh, the storms of life. We should always fall back to the word of God because the word of God has answer to everything that we are, every questions in our mind. That is why the word of God is life. Jesus Christ makes us to understand. He said, it is the spirit that quickeneth; The flesh profit nothing. The word that I speak unto you, he said, they are life and they are spirit. So the word of God is life and is spirit. I have seen people here, they have good cars, they have nice house, they are receiving fat salary, but you see they are obsessed, they are depressed, they are frustrated. Take a look at the, the plane crash that took place, is it in Germany, I think from uh, uh, Spain, is it Spain from Spain or forgot to the country that was coming to Germany, one of these uh, uh, Jama Airways. What happened? A pilot, tell me, a pilot, somebody who is a pilot, is he not receiving a, a fabulous salary? Is he not living well? But they never knew that this pilot was suffering from depression, from mental imbalance. The man was obsessed. Took the plane. Nobody knew what, what was in his mind. He locked the, 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 the cockpit against the, 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 the second pilot when that one went out to ease himself or something. And he directed the plane to the rock and crashed it on the mountain. And so it will be wasted. So you can see when the mind is not settled. Money cannot give you peace. Nothing else on this world that can give you peace. If money happened to give you peace, it's only in a little moment. And it will lead you to destruction or fiasco. That is why you see people who are corrupt. They are never satisfied with corruption. They, they will like to embezzle. They will embezzle and embezzle and embezzle and embezzle until they enter grave. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank God for the word of God. It's a godliness with contentment. Is what? A great gain and this godliness and contentment is the only one that can give you peace praise master jesus christ uh, Reggie, uh, when we talk about peace we are talking about the absence of mental tumor or anxiety when we talk about peace we are talking about that calmness when we talk about peace we are talking about that inner tranquility that no man can see that no money can buy when we talk about Peace, we are talking about that serenity within you, that pureness of right thinking, of acting rightly, of doing things according to the ways of God. Brethren, if you turn your Bible again to the book of Ephesians chapter 2, 14 to 17, it says, For it's our peace who has made both one and has broken down the middle wall of partition between us having abolished in the flesh the enmity, even the law of the commandment containing in the ordinance, for to make in himself of a twine one new man, so making peace, that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you which were afar off, and to them that were near. So, brethren, you can see what the Lord Jesus Christ did for you and I. 
So what do we need to do? Is for us to keep dwelling in that peace. That abundant peace that he has given to us. Brethren, if you also go to 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16, he said, Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means. The Lord be with you all. These were the words, words of Apostle Paul. The Lord of peace. Jesus Christ is the Prince of peace. There will never be peace in this world anymore. If you read the word of God very well, say that time, all this United Nation, the one world government, when they will not be not saying that, yes, peace, peace, yeah, peace, ah, the world is not enduring. There will be what? A sudden world destruction, like a bank upon this earth. So brethren, keep trusting the Lord. No matter what you are going through, allow the peace of Christ to reign in your heart. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Um, Without any further ado, let's turn our Bible again to that same uh, Luke, Luke chapter 21. I take some few scripture now. We call it a day. Luke chapter 21. I read from verse 16. He said, And ye shall be betrayed both by parents. So you can see your husband will even betray you because both of you are not risen from the same point of view. Your wife can even betray you. Your children can even betray you. Your family member can even betray you as far as they are not in the faith, as far as they are not holding on to the word of God, like the way, having that same right thinking that you are having from the word of God. Don't be surprised. Some people will say, I am so disappointed that you, you did this. You don't have to be disappointed. That is why you must maintain that peace in your mind. Be ready to accept, to, to expect anything. Because the world that we are living in now is, is polluted, is defied, and is awaiting the wrath of God. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Uh, ye shall be hated of all, all men for my name's sake. 18. There, there shall not an heir of you perish. In your patience possess your soul. And when you shall see Jerusalem compassed with enemy, then know that the desolation therefore is near. Desolation therefore is near. Then let them which are in the Judah flee to the mountain, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter there unto. 22. For this be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with a child, and to them that give suck in those days. For there shall be a great distress in the land, and wrought upon the people. 24. He said, They shall fall by the edge of the sword. They shall be led away captive into all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentile, Gentiles be fulfilled. 25. There shall be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars, like we already seen, the hurricane, the horrible weather situations that is happening now befalling the earth. He said, and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, and sea and the wave roaring. 26. May heart failing them for fear, for for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the power of the heaven shall be shaken. 27. Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the, in the cloud with the power and great glory. 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your head for your redemption drawn near. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Brother, you can finish it yourself. I take the last, the verse 36. They say, Wash it therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass to stand before the Son of Man. Brethren, our redemption out of this wicked and terrible world, if Christ tarries, draws near. He is coming back again. So possess your mind, your thoughts, your thinking in peace. Do not allow your heart to be troubled. I leave you with this last scripture. Philippians chapter 4 verse 7. He said, The peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your heart 
and mine through Christ Jesus. Amen. Mm. So this is the word of God for you and for me. May the Lord bless his word and make it fruitful in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Are you there? You have not yet given your life unto Jesus. You are still dwelling in the fact country of sin. The Lord is knocking at the door of your heart. You have no peace. By default, you belong to the devil. Run down to the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ by saying this brief prayer of confession after me. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, I come before you this hour. I know I am a wretched sinner. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me all my sins. <clears throat> Let all my sins be blotted out and let my name be written in the book of life. Lord Jesus Christ, I accept you today as my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my life. Take total control of my life and let your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for I am born again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you have just said that's brief prayer, brief prayer of confession. Every rejoice over your soul, and we as a uh, family will rejoice with you. And I pray with you, Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring these ones before you. I pray, oh Lord, that you strengthen them, you empower them, you grant them the grace and strength to remain faithful, to remain holy and righteous to the end in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But I pray that this word will not be used against them will not be used against us the hearer or rather it will continue to sanctify us and make every one of us rapture ready in the mighty name of jesus thank amen. you father in jesus name amen. Amen. amen lastly let's pray with this prayer point may it be declared like this father let the peace of christ that passeth on human understanding continue to possess my heart my family, my marriage, my children, to the end in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the peace of God, that peace of Christ, Lord, that asset of God, understanding, that possess my soul, possess my wife, possess my children, possess my marriage, possess my entire household. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and let your name be glorified. Thank you. Father, thank you, blessed in Jesus, in Jesus mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you, I worship you. Thank you for the utterances you gave to me. Father, if I interpreted your word wrongly, I ask for your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that this word will not be used against me on the last day, it will not be used against the hearer, or rather it will continue to revive us, purify us, sanctify us and make us rapture ready in jesus name amen, amen. over to you amen. bishop of a soul and now we are the righteousness of Jesus. We are risen with Him.
tomorrow. Joy is yours forever.